Hi everyone, we're Idlework and we're an indie duo from the UK who've just released our debut single Plastic Flowers, which is actually the reason we've been asked to come here today by Burst Radio. Thank you so much for having us and we're really excited to do this In The Garden Live Lounge. We're going to be singing a couple of original songs including our debut single Plastic Flowers and our new release Don't Call My Name, which is coming out on February the 10th. As well as a cover of Spies by Coldplay and a exclusive playing of our a very old one of our songs which we really love which you may know if you've listened to our music for a while we're really really excited to perform live because obviously we haven't been able to in a while and even if it's virtual it's a really great opportunity so thank you burst radio for having us on today here we go this is don't call my name um by us <laughs> Taking you again, so how could I pretend you're the same as yesterday? Don't call my name. really hope you enjoyed that that was don't call my name it's out right now if it's any time past february the 10th so next up we're going to be doing our other release which is plastic flowers it's our debut single and we're actually really excited because we've gained a couple of fans from that so if you're them then hi um so yeah we're going to be doing an acoustic version with some nice keys it's quite a different vibe to the studio version but you can always check that out <laughs> wrong key <laughs>
stood untouched in her clear glass box. And if you're here to watch, you may as well get out your pen and Thank you for listening. I really hope you enjoyed that one. So next up, we're going to be doing a cover of some 2000s Coldplay, which is actually one of Ivo's favourite childhood songs. So we thought we'd cover that one today. It's called Spies. And yeah, we're carrying on with the sort of slowed down feel. And we really like this song, so hope you enjoy it. I'm having a few technical issues right now because we're trying to make this as light as possible. But sadly, my laptop keeps crashing, but we're just going to keep ploughing through. And here's Spies. <laughs>
Thanks for listening to that. That was Spies by Coldplay. And finally, we're going to do um, a bit, we're going to bring back a bit of an old one, a bit of a throwback from us, um, which we wrote when we were about 10 or 11 years old. So we really hope you enjoy this. It's actually one of my favourite melodies you've ever written. So that's why we're bringing back such an old song. Our family and obviously our friends probably know this one more than anyone else because, like, why would you know that? Um, but yeah, here's Lost. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone for listening we really hope you enjoyed that it's been such a great experience to play these songs for you we really hope you enjoyed and you can go listen to our singles yeah we only have singles out um on spotify <laughs> don't call my name is out february the 10th thank you so much for watching Hi there, it's Alex from Burst Radio, and this week in the garden we're joined by a talented young duo from Gloucestershire, Idle Work. How are you guys doing? Good, thanks. Thanks for having No worries. Thank you for the session we just heard, and the interview will be attached on to the end of that session. Um, I want to start by actually going all the way, I want to start by going actually all the way to start with Idle Work, and can you tell me a bit about um, how the group was formed? So we've always known each other as kind of family friends, as we've always gone on holiday with each other each year since we've been toddlers. And, and on these holidays, we would just kind of write some really crazy, weird songs. Um, and ever since then, we've always just enjoyed doing that. And then um, ever since, like, last year, probably we started taking it a bit more seriously. Yeah, and we've just um, released our debut single, and we've got some new music coming in next month. Cool. So, does that mean you've been writing songs together for more than, like, three or four or five years? Yeah, we've longer. been writing since we were about six or seven, I would say. But it used to be really bad, but... Only recently we've taken it a bit more seriously. Cool. Do you think your um, writing style has kind of developed as you've gone through that time? Definitely, because um, before we kind of, I don't even, I wouldn't even say what style it was. It was kind of just random, whatever we felt like doing. And um, whereas now we're kind of trying to find out like what we enjoy. Obviously, we're still young, so we're trying to like explore lots of different areas and see what we enjoy. Cool, yeah, because we heard a song, I think, at the end of that session, Lost, which I think you said had been written a while ago. So is that, is that one that was written, like, a long time ago or just relatively in, like, the scale of Idle Work, like, a couple of years ago? 
It was about a couple of years ago, so it wasn't all the way back, but it was still quite a long time ago, but we're hoping that we can actually do maybe a newer version, because that's still one of our favourite songs. Cool. Yeah, I know the, the stripped back version sounded really nice. Um, how does your um, creative process work? So I can see that maybe either you more of a, on the producer side of things. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm more of the like, um, yeah, instrumentalist and producer side of the duo. So I'll generally um, come up with some sort of, well, first of all, we decide on like a theme or like what we want to talk about and anything, like if we have anything going on in our lives. And then I'll kind of try and come up with some, a backing track or a chord progression or something. And then the melody and lyrics come together. Cool. Yeah, because I'd seen actually in previous into I think that um, the, the your recent single Plastic Flowers was all recorded like virtually. Um, how did you find w working across FaceTime? Was it was it difficult? Yeah, so it's quite hard, but we live quite far apart anyway, so we always used to FaceTime. But we've kind of worked out a kind of virtual process of recording, but we're getting used to it and um, we're going to need to for a while. Hopefully not, but yeah. Cool. Um, yes, yeah, so I want to ask a little bit about Plastic Flowers. Congratulations on the lease, obviously, and I heard it on BBC Introducing in the West, and so obviously you see some good exposure across the region. Um, can you tell me a bit about, um, I think I saw a previous uh, version called When the Cup of Tea is Cold on Instagram. Does that mean that song's been a few, been through a few iterations before the final release that we hear now? It has, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's been, like, the I think the longest process, because it's been through quite a lot of versions, but we just kept going with it, and I think we're really happy with the final result. And, yeah, it sounded very different then, but we just kind of took some main ideas from it. Yeah, because obviously, as we are still so young, um, even like a few months for us can feel like a long time like we'll be like you I hate all of that music now so yeah we just we thought we may as well like we still like parts of it but we'd rather like put it to rest before we moved on like building up our profile cool yeah did you had you released it previously under a different name and then you've kind of taken it down and put it back up again yeah it was it was released for a short period but then we kind of went off it and we're like Ew, let's get this out <laughs> yeah Ooh. Um, so, Anna, so I think by the time the session we released, um, the first song we heard in that session, Call Me By Your Name, Call Me By My Name, um, will be will have been released. Can you tell us a bit about that single? Yeah, Don't Call My Name. That's, I'm really exciting. <laughs> That's all right. Um, yeah, so it's just still kind of developing that sound from Plastic Flowers, but just taking it in different directions. And again, it was all written on FaceTime and it kind of follows on from the storyline of Plastic Flowers. So... Plastic Flowers is about someone in your life that you think you should maybe cut off and then Don't Call My Name is just kind of cutting them off and like exploring that. Fantastic. Do you think these um, singles are part of sort of like an EP or an album um, coming up? Do you have that sort of idea in mind or are you just kind of seeing how it goes? Well, we are definitely planning on doing an EP next just to try and, because we've never really tried to write a, a serious EP before and that'd be just quite nice to have a collection all together. But we're not really sure. We'll probably just kind of write them first. We're actually starting writing our EP now, but um, we're not really sure which ones will make the cut. So yeah. Cool. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to ask you a bit about just before we wrap up about um, Idol Work Live. So I think I've seen you've done one charity concert before. I was wondering if you thought about how these songs, how they would translate to a live setting. Do you think you're going to try and keep it just the two of you, or bring a bit of a band? Have you thought about that at all? Yeah, we haven't really given it much thought, but we did a gig back in February for Greenpeace and that was so much fun. So we can't wait until the pandemic and everything's over and we can do some more performing because that's just so much fun. And so, yeah, when we're writing our songs, we kind of keep that in mind. But yeah, we haven't really thought too much about the future with that. I think that definitely would be nice. Like, if Obviously, it's like more about the scale of things. Like Obviously, if we like can't afford to like hire people and everything like that. But I think um, if we like continue to grow and find our fan base, it'd be really nice to have like a drummer or something like just to keep it feeling nice and good live. <laughs> Fantastic. Perfect. Well, it was really nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much for the session and um, good luck in the future. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.